Yeah, I thought the uh, first half, I mean, I, I have to watch the tape again, but I thought we missed a lot of good good opportunities, especially around the rim. Um, you know, and those are different in, you know, three, four of those, it's six to eight points, and now it feels, the first half feels a lot different. So not converting some of those was part of it. Uh, you know, and then, and I don't know what, I think we were two for 11 in the first half from three. So, you know, you knock one or two more of those down, it, it feels like a different half on the offensive end. So I thought off, uh, def- defensively, I thought we did some good stuff in the first half. Uh, we just uh, didn't connect. And, and you're going to have nights like that. And tonight was one of them. But I thought the second half, um, uh, we had just a little more urgency too uh, to to our offense. Uh, I thought the ball screen offense was really good to us. We were able to get Brody on some some pick and roll actions and, and utilize some stuff um, that they were doing uh, uh, in in some of our pick and roll game to try to get to the rim. And you mentioned the, the urgency in the second half. It, it seemed fast paced offense. You guys run really worked in your favor, but I think in the first half it seemed at least with the turnovers maybe that worked against you. Do you feel like that's ever the case, especially in the, in the first half? Um, I didn't feel like our pace was necessarily uh, dictating some of those turnovers. Uh, you know, we don't want to turn it over seven times and a half, obviously. So that's just a matter of uh, taking better care of the ball and, and cleaning some things up there. But um, you know, the second half, I, I thought our offense was really good. I thought our defense actually, you know, uh, wasn't quite as sharp and connected as it was in the first half, and that's what kept that thing, uh, you know, really going back and forth for quite a while there. I think the biggest thing, uh, you know, for for him on on a night where you you go over eight from three, it's um, you know, obviously our players and our staff, you're like, you know, he can go over sixteen if he wants, you know, in terms of if you get the looks you like, take them, and we'd say that for all of our guys, um, when you've put in the time that. Uh, he has and other guys in our program have, we know what that looks like and that's basketball. Uh, you, there's nights where you know, the greatest in the world have bad nights and that's, that's uh, um, you know, and we don't have that <laughs> greatest in the world, but our guys, our guys have all put in the time and they, they know exactly um, that in the game of basketball, you can have a night you can go six, seven for eight, and you can have nights you go zero, one, or two for eight. So, um, we we want our guys to play with that confidence, and and that's a that advantage of having a, a, a great team is on a night uh, where your leading scorer has a, a tough night. Uh, there's plenty of guys uh, that we can go to 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 pick it up on that scoring um, uh, end of things. I don't want to say what his motivation was for sure, but he certainly, uh, from the moment the season was over, to you know, and us talking about you know what things look like the next year for him and how he could be more successful, he certainly dedicated himself to um, you know getting in better shape, uh, trimming trimming down a little bit, uh, and he's been I mean he's been on just a steady um, commitment to to producing the, what he's done again he put in the time he put in the effort and now you're seeing the results on the on the playing floor and last question for you this game obviously had you spent a lot of time with the Rovers especially the three-pointers tonight by the end of the night you did those two you have your all-time record how does it feel to just kind of as a coach see a player like him get that close to a record like that yeah I think the biggest thing with DJ is DJ doesn't care about records um, but it also says what he's meant to our program how steady he's been uh, you know, over the t- his time here. I mean, he's just a guy that, um, you know, as a coach, you just have the utmost confidence in, um, you know, to be out on the floor from from all phases, from an execution, from a defensive standpoint. Obviously, uh, he doesn't just make threes for us either. He does so many other things too. So, uh, tremendous accomplishment whenever that happens, um, uh, and I'm sure it will. But uh, uh, again, I, I think it just says, uh, you know, how valuable he's been to our program.